And we're going to okay, start CPR, and let's give them an amp of epinephrine. So that sounds like anything but a party. Instead, those are the sounds of a trauma room at the Kelowna General Hospital, or at least the simulation of one. Kelowna students in grade 12 were treated to a day of education on alcohol and risk-related trauma in youth through the party program. What we're trying to show students today is um, the effects of making bad choices, and that's more or less what the party program is about. This is the first time the party program is being held in Kelowna. It will take place over several days at the hospital, where students are educated on awareness of personal choices, the consequences of injury, prevention initiatives, and the reduction of risk-related trauma. They're seeing a trauma in effect, uh, an actual trauma. Um, they're also going to see the coroner, um, and then they're going to see physio. So the whole process of a crash happening, and then the process of what does happen to a person. And then there's the third impact, and that's all your goods inside you. Your brain, all your internal organs, they're still traveling at 90K. Now your body stopped, they're going to keep going forward. Officials, police and teachers hope the impact of this program is the only one these teens have to go through. We just looked at the motor vehicle accident, and I think it was really, it was scary to see that. But I think it's a good reminder of to not text and drive, to be really aware, because we always need that reminder as students and we just all just got our driver's licenses and we're all like, oh, we want to go drive. We want to drive really fast, but, you know, we need that reminder to stay safe. There. There's been many times where I've had to go in and I had to cut uh, brake pedals or clutch pedals, cut them off because they're stuck inside the legs. Motor vehicle crashes are the leading cause of unintentional injury and death across B.C. for all ages. If a person is ejected from a vehicle, if they're dead at the scene or pronounced dead, if they're in the vehicle or outside of it, it stays there until the investigation is concluded at the scene. There are 1.2 fatalities and 18 hospitalizations daily in the province. Impaired and distracted driving count for the most. For Castanet News, I'm Jen Zielinski.